Hi guys, I'm Daniel. I work as department manager for our ION implantation maintenance. In a few seconds, we're going to enter the clean room. Depending on the clean room class, we are many thousand times cleaner than an operating room at the hospital. That's why we need special clothing. Likewise, metallic objects such as jewelry are strictly prohibited. For example, wearing makeup is also not permitted to enter the clean room. The risk of contamination, for example through pollution of our structures, which are only micro and nanometer sized, is too significant. Under the microscope, even the smallest particles look like huge mountains. Infineon also supplies the automotive industry with chips for safety critical applications, such as airbags or steering systems. So quality is our highest and most important requirement. Our microchips are produced on circular disks, so-called wafers, made of various materials. The most used material is silicon, a semi-metal. It makes up about 15% of our earth and is the second most abundant element after oxygen. However, the development in the field of materials is progressing by leaps and bounds. Our latest technologies are manufactured on silicon carbide and gallium nitride wafers, so-called wide band gap materials. These have much better properties, for example the possible energy densities or the achievable switching frequencies. Production fillac takes place on various wafer diameters. The larger the wafer, the more chips fit on it and the cheaper the production. Many of our technologies can already be produced on 300 mm wafers. The latest materials are manufactured on 150 and 200 mm wafers. Many process steps are required for manufacturing. In simple terms, the structure of our microchips are imaged on different layers. A photosensitive resist is applied to the wafers, which are then exposed through a mask to the respective photoplane and selectively removed. The structure is created. This process is called lithography. In addition to lithography, however, many other process steps are necessary for a functioning chip. In ion implantation, for example, foreign atoms are introduced into the material to make the electrical properties of the material controllable. This is called doping. There are also high temperature steps in a furnace to anneal the implantation or the application of oxide as an insulator. Tracks are etched into the chips with liquid chemicals or in plasma. Layers are reapplied, the surface is chemically and mechanically polished and much more. These steps are then repeated many times. The production of a single wafer can require more than 1000 processing steps before it is finished. And remember that these chips must also be electrically tested at the end, which is done in what is known as wafer testing. There are individual development departments with experts from physics, chemistry, material science, process engineering and many more, who constantly learn to improve our processes for each of these steps. Now, the complexity of the individual processes is only one out of many challenges. For example, we manufacture more than 2000 different products simultaneously, and with almost 1700 machines and systems, we have to constantly ensure that production is managed and controlled as smoothly as possible. This is a major logistical challenge with a production volume of almost 10 billion chips per year. We move around 600,000 wafers daily at the Filak factory to achieve all this. I hope you have enjoyed this little insight into our wafer production. Have a great day. See you.